check out our Fox 8 Swagger. I don't think I've shown you guys this yet. These are brand new jackets for the station. Uh, reporters, anchors, editors, everyone has pretty much been blessed with these really nice, warm uh, winter gear. And believe me, for this past week, I I've been very grateful of having something a little extra in addition to my fashion coats, like this one in the back here, which I didn't use today. Anyway, um, I hope y'all are staying warm and snuggly on this fabulous Friday. However, my story, not so fabulous, it's actually kind of sad. Uh, dozens and dozens of animals dumped, found killed, thrown in the snow, and just left in this one area in a local township. I'm going to show you all a bit about that investigation, who police are looking for, all the details that's coming up on Fox 8 News. I mean, I've had a lot of strange animal cases this week. Just the day before, I did a story out in Sandusky County where these four kittens were thrown into a box and they were thrown to the side of the road. This actually happened before last week's winter storm, just a couple days after Christmas. And these guys were pretty much, I mean, they would have been buried alive. So they're really lucky to still be here. The great part is that those kittens, which I guess you could call them young cats because they're just a few months old, but they are in good health and one of them actually had been adopted out. So I think that it's it's good in terms of the time of year it is, a lot of people in the spirit of things, hopefully many others, especially with those animals out there, at a part of what the Sandusky County Humane Society, they have so many animals in addition to those four kittens that were brought in. They actually have a building that's only equipped to have about 100 in their facility. And get this, they have about 150. So times are really tough for this group. I mean, if they only have the space for so many animals, I'm sure they only have the means to financially support so many as well. But um, there's a lot of good going on out there. You can find out actually more information on Fox8.com. Go to Scene on TV and you can have a link to um, the need for Sandusky County and those animals with the Humane Society. If you want to adopt, they have a special adoption rate going on right now. It's 25 bucks for a cat. $40 for a kitten and that includes all the, the kitten caboodle there so lots of good in terms of a bad situation out there but my gosh I mean to hear this story and I hope you guys stick around for the details about these animals that were just killed and and all the I mean it's just it's really just it's sad what the times have come to but hopefully some good can come about it I mean if they do find the person or persons responsible I mean we're talking federal charges here so it's it's pretty serious stuff but on that note, um, I hope you guys have a great weekend coming ahead. I actually have some exciting stuff going on. I'm going to be practicing with my bowling teams as uh, both my league teams are top of the league. We're competing for kind of the championship sort of stuff. Sad times in terms of Kansas State last night. They lost to Oregon, but Oregon, my gosh... Those guys, they're fast. They deserve the win. But Kansas State has a great senior squad this year. I wish the best to Colin Klein, Chris Harper, and many of the others on the squad. They're going to have some great times. Uh, moving on to the pros. And, oh gosh, Sunday, have an acting role. A great one. Stuff's already up on IMDb. You guys should check out my profile. Just look me up, Annette Lawless, and you can get all the details there. Oh, and tonight, I'm just all scattered here. Hottie and the Jerk returns. So excited. Von Fry and I are recording tonight. That podcast will be released on iTunes on Saturday evening. So anyway, have a good one, everybody. That's the hashtag. And that's busy. Kind of crazy. Hope you all have a great, great, great weekend. Talk to you later.